What is up everybody, Bandit and Chad here for another Taco Tuesday. So if y'all aren't aware, both Chad and I are huge fans of the guys out in Colorado known as TFL Car and Truck. You know, they do a lot of car and truck reviews, uh, both on-road and off-road, as well as cover the new news in the segment. And uh, we we learn a lot from them. We, ha we do have their book and we have been reading a lot of that and learning from all of those guys out there and uh, Mr. Truck. And uh, their most recent video was pretty interesting. And basically what they did is they took both the new Ram Power Wagon and the new Ford Raptor and compared those with the TRD Pro Tacoma off-road. And basically what that comparison gave you is a mid-size truck, a full-size truck, and a heavy-duty truck all off-road together. Um, and you know, it the results kind of went as you would expect. You know, the full size or the the heavy duty Ram power wagon with the solid front and rear axles and the uh, locking differentials front and rear was really good in the uh, more rocky sections more technical sections however when you wanted more high speed off-roading that's really Raptor territory now the TRD Pro didn't really shine in either one of those categories but it also wasn't quite as bad in either one of those categories either you know it, it's kind of a jack of all trades if you will and with the smaller footprint it does make it a lot easier to drive off-road however it does lower a, the capabilities just a little bit but also it comes in at a lot lower price tag uh, but this kind of got us thinking you know the TRD Pro Tacoma is the best off-roading mid-size truck in the segment right now but what will happen in the coming years you know uh, we have gotten word that the Chevy ZR2 will be coming out before too long with a locking differential in the front and the rear and a diesel option as well. And it looks like we might be getting a Jeep truck here before too long as well, right? Yeah, uh, one of the top guys at Jeep was talking about it just recently in an interview. And we're supposed to be getting, you know, a Jeep truck at some point whether that Comanche nameplate comes back or if it's just a Jeep pickup I don't know but that's definitely gonna bring more uh, competitiveness to the uh, midsize truck market right and Jeep as a brand is kind of devoted to kind of the off-road lifestyle similar to what Toyota is and a lot of their products so it will really be interesting to see what comes of all of this and see kind of which brand takes the uh, you know pinnacle of off-road midsize truck uh, title if you will mm -hmm. um, but this kind of leads us to an interesting debate. What will happen to Toyota? You know, Toyota has always kind of had this uh, reputation for being the best off-road trucks, you know, really rugged and reliable and everything else. Right. But what will happen if they're not the most um, off-road capable truck in the segment anymore? Do you think Toyota will bring out maybe the Rock Warrior nameplate that we've seen on the Tundras and make that more of a, you know, slow speed technical? off-road right. truck and leave the TRD Pro as the more high-speed and desert running type off-road truck. You know, all that remains to be seen and we are just speculating here, but it will really be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Um, obviously, whatever happens, you know, we're both really happy with our trucks. Uh, they've done everything that we've asked and more and really the only limiting factor on my TRD off-road is the tires, which, you know, is an easy thing to be changed, but, you know, we could, and we could change that before too long we hopefully will but you know even with those tires and with all of the uh, kind of off-road technology and everything that is in that truck it's really impressed us off-road so moving into the news that we've seen this week uh, we have seen a version of the Ford Ranger testing outside Ford's Michigan plant and basically what that was is just the Ford Ranger that's already out in other markets around the world uh, just kind of camoed up and, and everything else and more than likely uh, we will see either an update or a facelift or uh, whatever you want to call it before we get that truck here in the states uh, but it looks like it will be coming here before too long since they are testing it here on US soil right yeah and coming back around to Jeep news um, back to that top guy that was talking he was saying that at some point this year we are going to be seeing the new Jeep Wrangler whether that's in New York or sometime over the summer, fall, we're not sure exactly. So, you know, we'll keep you up to date on that. Um, but the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is definitely going to be coming. Um, sounds like that'll be coming at New York for sure. And other than that, uh, there's really no other Jeep news, so. Right, so let us know what you think. You know, will Toyota make more off-road models kind of varying in uh, off-road capability? Uh, will they just surrender their top seat to a different brand? You know, all that remains to be seen, but I am really interested in your all's opinions on that. 
So thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time. See you guys. There is a policeman on a motorcycle pulling a car over right there. I haven't seen that in a while. I haven't either. That is fantastic. <laughs> Excellent work, sir. <laughs> Anyhow. Isn't that something? Yeah. And hey, that was a Nissan Versa. Yeah. Not even... We have Porsches and GTRs and everything else around down here, and they're pulling over Nissan Versas. Yeah, he must have been going real fast. Real... I would say it had to max it out. <laughs>